So we are gonna learn about my favorite dog, the Welsh Corgi. In Welsh, it also translates to the dwarf dog. So we're gonna first start with a little historical background. These originate from Wales, which is next to the United Kingdom, dating to around 1000 BCE. And their usual occupation back then were herding dogs for cattle, horses, and sheep. They actually had the nickname for heel nippers because they were so short, low to the ground that they were able to nip at the heels of the animals to make them steer a certain direction or move faster. And continued, they were also really great pet, pets. They were very energetic and loyal and friendly, and that's why they're um, great um, animals for children and they were actually mainly owned by people of royalty. I read in an article that there were actually kings in Africa that owned them. And the Queen of England is another great example. She owns three corgis and one dorgy. This is the dorgy. It's a crossbreed between a dachshund and a corgi. And there's actually two breeds. There's the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. The dog on the left is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the dog on the right is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. As you can see, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi has a tail and his ears are a little bit more pointed at the top and the um, Pembroke Welsh Corgi is the more common Corgi that we see that has no tail and just a little stuff on the back. And just some physical characteristics, Corgis tend to be tw 10 to 12 inches tall and males weigh 22 to 30 pounds and females 20 to 28 pounds. Now there's about six coat colors for each corgi. This is the only one I could find for the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and they're usually solid colors. There's um, the names for each of the coat colors is the same for the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, but something to note is that Cardigan Corgis have two or three colors mixed into one named color. And from birth to adulthood, we can see that um, their ears are down and their nose is a little, their face is a little bit flat, but then when they age, their ears prop up and their nose sticks out. This is actually a real like transition from um, puppy to uh, dog from a YouTuber that I found. And fun facts, did you know that the gluteus maximus of a corgi floats in water making it not so gluteus at its bottom? And compared to other mammals, Corgis have fewer muscle fibers in their butt, so that makes them hollow, and it's actually 79.4% air. And I wanted to prove it to you all, so I found a video. So this is a corgi in a tub full of water, and usually you can see the owner pushing down on the dog to make sure that its um, hind legs press down, but they just float right back up. But his front legs are still touching. <laughs> Cute little video. I'm sure that it's actually real.